Gather around. Gather around. So there's a reason that we got this audio out here. Target 11, I'll demo. Super, super simple. We're just gonna start to incorporate a little bit of movement. By the time we're done today, we're gonna have a bunch of rounds and a bunch of movement in the next two hours, hour and a half. Same thing that we've just been doing, except now we're gonna just incorporate a little lateral movement to the left or the right while we draw, eyes and ears. So we'll have you square up on your target. This is contrived as f This is not if you're ever standing in front of somebody, do this. But this is just as getting you to link the draw stroke and the movement. So if this is my target, the command will be take a step to the left. That is still my target throughout the whole iteration. And I'm gonna say move to the right, draw, shoot, and move, give me two. I'm gonna shoot to the top piece of paper. So I'm going to retrieve my pistol draw, shoot, and move. I got my final sight picture. I'm gonna safely recover to the holster. Now I'm gonna stay right here. I'll say, go to the left, give me two hits. Draw, shoot, and move. So I'm gonna retrieve my pistol, get the hits. I didn't tack mag, I failed to, and got the gun back up. Super simple. We're just gonna incorporate a little movement and getting hits. You got a huge target zone Love these target zones. Those of you that have trained with us, this is something that we've patented. Um, <laughs> legitimately, there's a bunch of guys that do this. Claude Werner, another Green Beret, the tactical professor, analyzed thousands and thousands of shootings. Thousands. Am I exaggerating, Paul? No. Yeah, it's thousands. And literally, his dad and Claude used to run the uh, range down at um, Roger Shooting School, which is a premier shooting program in the, in the whole country, in the whole world, which means a lot that he ran that program. He says if you could take three pieces of printer paper, turn sideways, so not, not this way, but turn sideways and stack them, that's a pretty big target, right? That'd be about this tall by about that wide. And if you could hit that on command from whatever distance you might need to engage a human in about three seconds, you'll probably win a gunfight. Probably, but that's based on real data of people because as you learned a little bit this morning, you don't want to get shot in here. Yes, we know that here or here is gooder, but what happens, Z, you ever shoot somebody? And did you ever shoot them not where you wanted to? Did it change? Did it, did it change anything? <laughs> did it change anything when you hit them? Like, did they reorient? Did it change anything? It yeah. So you're, st you're starting to apply rounds, right? So even if I'm not, we're not suggesting not to achieve high levels of accuracy, but what we're telling you based on data, if you can keep rounds in something about this big, reliably every time, you're probably gonna be the person that wins because it's the first round that hits that counts, right? If we just shoot all into the world like, ah, we're making a shit ton of noise. That's stupid. So that's why we're using this and it's really easy for us to see. And we've shoot some smaller stuff too. So whoever was just up is off. So I think that's odds back on the line, is that right? Square up in front of your target and now take a big step to the left. Why don't we dry fire this once? You don't even need to draw your gun. I'll give you a whistle, move to the right, mimic that you drew and punch your fake gun out. So don't even draw, ready? You're gonna move to the right, punch your fake gun out. Bang, 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 bang. That's how I dry fire. Bang, 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 bang. So now go to the right side of your target. We're gonna go to the left now on the whistle. Put that fake gun away. Put that fake gun away. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. No wonder I'm hoarse. <laughs> What's important now is paying attention to what I'm talking about. So if you didn't hear, tell me I didn't hear. Moving to the right. So now you're on the right, you're gonna draw your fake pistol, move to the left, get a couple hits on that bottom sheet of paper, and then you're gonna recover that fake gun back to the holster. You dig? Move, Sharon. Move the other way. Do you think it seems stupid to draw a fake gun? Do you think it's stupid to pretend putting the fake gun away? Where's Dr. Matt? Did, do you ever do surgery? You guys ever dry rehearse the surgery beforehand? Where's my pilot? Did you guys ever 
plan a sortie before you took off? Absolutely. Talk, before. talk about how you're going to climb and level off and all that piloty shit. Every time. Every time we... we Send Janice to the back for some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we fired Janice? Dang it. Go ahead. Yeah, every time we rehearse the entire flight, we visualize it, we sit down. So this is just you and the dudes sitting around yeah. literally just talking about it. You're not even in the plane. Absolutely. So you, you visualize the whole process. Yep, start to finish. Even now, on the ground, all the way through takeoff, everything we're going to do during the flight, the approach, the landing, and, and what we're going to do when we land. And it, it's very thorough. It takes a long time. But then when you do it, you've, you've already done it. You've already mind. created a map in your head, right? Z, do you guys ever, on your mission planning before you hit an objective, ever like <laughs> on the ground? And at, a, at a minimum. You're gonna visualize. So something like an Olympic skier going downhill, they can't really go replicate that same hill. Pilots like the Blue Angels that have to coordinate their their movement with each other. They sit around a big table and they visualize every time. And that has shown that um, visualization is almost just as good as doing the exact same thing. And it's almost only the, the only thing that you can do on certain situations where combat or doing something where I can't rehearse everything within those the confinement of that actual task that you're trying to do, you have to visualize it. So you're mapping it in your head. So mm -hmm. it's key. Doing it with a, a fake pistol is, is visualizing it. So that being said, if you're doing it with your fake pistol, should you be uh, half-assing it? No. Whatever you're programming into you, whether bad or good, is going to be programmed into you. So program good things into yourself. Which brings us to the final point of all of that. If you can't imagine yourself winning every single time, no matter what, I think you know the rest of that. My buddy Jared Reston says, I've killed a million men a million times in a million ways. That's pretty, people are like, oh, he's disgusting. He's a madman. He's a lunatic. No, what he's done is he's planned. If he comes through that door with that gun, I'm going to go that way. If somebody comes from that way, if two of them come over that hill, I'm doing this. And if this doesn't work, I do that. And if that doesn't work, I do this. You dig? Now we're talking about a mindset, not just shooting guns. All right, you guys feel comfortable? On the whistle, you are gonna to move to the right. Nothing crazy. Present the pistol, pop a couple hits, hits, hits into that top piece of paper. Got it? Safely recover to the holster. How many sight pictures? Moving to the right, moving to the right. Let's go from the left. Let's go four rounds, four rounds, four rounds. Get good hits. Move. If you have a... If you have a safety, that safety is definitely part of the manual of arms of the gun. How you put it on and off needs to be consistent. Yes? yes. Let's go four rounds. Moving to the left. Ready? As you get that final sight picture, as you get that final sight picture, I'd like you to say out loud, did I hit? Did it work? Do I need to shoot again? Did I hit? Did it work? Does he need another? Did I hit? Did it work? Did I hit? Did it work? Do you hear me? You're going you're gonna to say that out of your mouth now. Did I hit? Does he need another? Do I need to fire again? Does he have any friends? Am I hurt? These are the things in that order. Am I hurt? Doesn't matter if you're being shot in the face still. Because, yeah, you're hurt. you got to stop what's out there. That's the whole context of what we're doing, right? So there's got to be a hierarchy of what we're talking to ourselves about. Going the other way. Let's go six.
as you go to draw, <laughs> intentionally as you're drawing, inhale. Prior to firing, start to exhale and fire. So think about that as you, as you run through this. As you're drawing, inhale. Before you fire, start exhaling, then fire. All through your nose, guys. Who has a safety on their gun? If you have a safety on your gun and you need to manipulate it with your support hand, what's the problem? Break your grip. Well, yeah, what, what happens when you don't have the other hand involved? What if Paul is the one that you're having to hold off as you draw that gun? Right. You can only, you, you, once you get that other hand engaged, you're, you've got a, a bludgeon in your hand. Going to the left, six rounds, ready! Dominate those muzzles. Dominate them. Going to the left. Two rounds. Ready, ready. Move. If your gun went empty after two rounds, you've got a broken system or you were negligent in, in working your system. I just did it. I didn't tack mag. My gun went to slide lock, right? You could also even... Just take your mag out and look, right? Ready! Yeah! Dominate those muzzles. They do not point at you. They don't point at anybody else. Are you breathing like Brian just said to you? Inhale on the draw. Exhale as you start to punch through that trigger. Yeah? Move! On this next one, we'll bump you up to four rounds. We'll bump you up to four rounds. Going to the right, I'd like six, six, six. Well, just six, not the six, 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 because that's devil -y and we're in God's country. Think about how you're landing as you're moving. Once you guys are holstered, I'm going to step forward and demonstrate what I just saw. These guns are holstered. So I I'm looking at a couple of you guys doing this. I'm exaggerating. Look, what's wrong with this? I can land and, and be in a good base, right? On a serious note though, you can easily throw some cones out in your driveway and just move between those points and try to land in a good position. Football players do it, basketball players do it, soccer players do it, what are you gonna say? If you go dry after the sixth shot, that doesn't mean just quit and lazily do your reload. Get that gun back up and get back out there, punch back out, assess the target. Maybe take another shot if you need to. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. So if how, if you take six shots and you miss two of them, what do you got to do? Make them up, right? If you miss four shots, what do you got to do? Yeah. How do you know you missed? Because you're watching. You are paying attention. Your awareness is here. If your awareness is just bang, 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 bang. I don't know what happened, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> Going to the left, six rounds, ready? If you are getting hit with brass and it's uncomfortable, it's okay. It's just brass. It's literally like somebody throwing pennies at you gently. I wanna do a, a drill that's about you paying attention to what's happening with your sights. Tons of people that utilize such thing. He mentioned Ron Avery earlier. Ron was really one of the first guys to 
really start to explain visually what was happening at a high level of shooting, that he could, he could articulate it for the layman. Frank Proctor kind of took what uh, Ron had done, and he's another SF dude that became a high-level shooter. Pro Frank Proctor shooting, if you've ever seen him online or trained with him. Super simple drill. You're going to have this piece of paper in front of you. At four yards or so, I'm going to have you present your pistol. I'll demo it at 11. You're going to present your pistol, and you're going to start moving it left to right left to right and this is a contrived drill to help you open up what you're seeing you guys that have trained with us have done this it's a great drill because if you don't have a range that you can move on you can do this and as those sights move across your target stick to stick stick to stick your awareness goes into what's happening here if that front sights moving around in the notch you don't have the grip paul showed you this is happening that's all locked out and all that's happening is that sight is moving level left to right. Now when I decide, I'm going to press the shot off and I'm going to hit the paper. My goal is not to shoot a tight group, it's just to hit the paper. That's it. If you miss, that's okay. I just want you to see where the sights were when you broke the shot. Now there's a little gamesmanship to this because if my sights are moving here and I go to here and I'm like okay I should shoot now and then I start pressing and then the shot breaks by the time the shot breaks my muzzles here understand yes. and then I come back and I start to okay I'm gonna shoot now I start pressing pressing bang I'm just gonna miss so this is you understanding when that shots gonna break so it's not you initiating pressing the trigger it's you understanding that the shots gonna go off now 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 understand so come up closer. So we're going to say present your pistol to the berm. You're going to come up, get a good sight picture, and I'm just going to start moving left to right, left to right. And I'm going to tell you, imagine that you would break the shot. If you're watching the target, there's nothing happening there. So I'm going to say break the shot when you, when you think you should dry. So I'm going to go, my finger's not on the trigger. Bang, 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 bang. Bang. Or I could move this fast. Bang. 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 I'm just putting information into my brain. I'm not going to be able to shoot while moving if I don't have something to draw on that's already in there. Get what I'm saying? So the whole visualization thing, if I go with the pilot and I'm like, I I'm going to see 130 pilot too. I've thought about it a lot. <laughs> I've, I've literally, I mean, I've visualized the shit out of it. Trust me. And you'll be like, well, where'd you learn? Visualization, dude. You told me. We got to input some shit, right? So simple. Ready? Eyes and ears. Watch me, not the target. So now we've dry fired it. I'm going to say, put your finger on the trigger, and when you're ready, break some shots. After we get to a point that we're able to see what's happening, We'll move on to the next thing. It's gonna have you go through one mag. Your whole job, I don't care if you miss every shot, your whole job is just to see where your sights were in time and space. And register in your head, that's when it broke, that's when it broke, that's when it broke. This is just like if you were throwing darts and you were able to remember what it felt like and then saw where it stuck. Remember what it felt like, saw where it stuck. Get what I'm saying? We're just, we're just putting some information in. So square up on your target, the line that's up, you're gonna shoot the top piece of paper. We're gonna go dry first. Nothing else changes. Good grip, good body posture. So present your pistol to the berm, look left and right, make sure we're all safe. Present your pistol, get a good master grip, finger straight, looking through your sight, start moving left to right, stick to stick, the sticks that are holding your target up. Is your dot or are your sights moving around or are they staying static? Meaning, are, is that front sight bouncing around in the rear notch? Is your dot bouncing around in the window or are you able to keep it centered? So now, without putting your finger on the trigger, when you, when you are ready to dry fire this a little bit, start to use your words, boom, bang, Spume, 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 or whatever sound you would make a bullet with. The dentist is over here like, what in the...
This is Peter Pan weekend. You guys can all be boys. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Compress into three, compress into three. Compress back in with your finger straight. That's a nice spot just to relax. Jill, com compress back into three. Just want you to rest for a second. So we'll punch it back out and now we'll do it live, okay? Don't worry about where the shots are going. We can analyze all of that when we're done. Do pay attention. You should be seeing them appear if you're doing this right. Don't try to go too fast. Don't try to go too fast. The one thing that you can't do is don't move, stop, shoot, move, stop, shoot. You're pressing as the gun is moving. Understood? We're gonna watch from behind to see if you're stopping. Go through one magazine, go to slide lock, reload, and then safely holster. Ready? Any of you guys that were watching, did you see them stopping? No. Did anybody see anybody stopping? I had one shooter down here that was stopping because it's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to hold steady, right? So now you're trying to do the exact opposite. You guys that are behind them, I want you to come up next to them just like the drill Paul did. You're gonna put their hand on their arm. I'll demo it with Paul so you can see. Paul, step up to 11. Paul's going to shoot, except I'm just going to carefully move him, making sure he's not stopping. This is all it'll be. I'm just going to grab his wrist. And you got to be careful when you guys are doing this. When somebody's getting a gun out, make sure that that gun is out. I'm going to be back here. He drew. And I'm even going to do this. Is it okay to grab you now? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't just be grabbing on people with guns out. No joke. Go ahead and present the gun. So he's going to start moving. And I'm going to just make sure he doesn't stop. So whenever you're ready, you go through your ammo. I'm not trying to jerk him around. I'm just imparting a, imparting a little bit of movement. His job is just press the trigger as the sights coalesce. All I want you to do is just see your sights in movement and you just press the shot. Nothing hard. So you guys come up next to them and remember they're gonna do it for you. So first things first, shooters present your pistol. Helper, come up next to them and say, hey, is it okay for me to grab your arm? Now you guys may wanna go to the left side. Why? Why would you wanna go to the left side? Press. Yeah, if you go to the left side, you won't eat brass. If you go to the left side, you won't eat brass. All you're going to do is just gently left to right. Don't grab them on the bottom because you're going to push the gun all over. Grab their wrist and you're just pushing level. This is weird. It, it's weird, but it's going to make sense. If you go on the left side, you're going to eat less brass and the brass coming at you is going to hit you in the back of the head instead of the face. Understood? Left to right. Left to right. Go through the mag. Top it off, recover to the holster. I don't care where you hit, it is far more important for you to know why you missed than to not know why you hit. You can replicate and repair if you understand what you did wrong. You can't replicate if you don't understand what you did right. Dig? That's luck. And luck is not a course of action, is it? Let's start moving them left to right. Move those pistols left to right.
So I'm working my trigger, right? We've probably all done this. Here's what's happening though. I am imprinting in my brain to press the trigger and cycle the slide. Well, I'd never do that for real, says you or me. I've done it for real. I have dry fired over the course of a couple days and then gone to the range, drawn, fired, and dumped a live round to the deck subconsciously because I had done it 2,000 times over the course of a few days. My subconscious delivered exactly what I asked of it. So enter the dry fire mag. Super cool tool. This is one of those ingenious devices where you're like, why didn't I think of that? Right now, this tool is only made for the Glock, the Smith & Wesson M&P, and soon to be uh, the XD model pistols. I got one out of the box here. This is what it looks like. So this will work in the 